hey, just one more video to say that um, no matter what, um, you know, that lady said, that lady said what she said. The Eastern Stars lady said what she said. And, um, yeah, I mean, I don't think I learned that in my criminal justice course, you know. And so, yeah, that really does change everything. It really does. Because, you know, if I could if I could get people on my level of understanding, um, that really is an attack. I mean, that's like the whole system there, you know? I mean, do you, okay. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I Like, do you have to be a cop before you're an FBI agent or something? Because don't they call them cops? Because somebody else called someone dirty cop. Um, but anyways, so I wanted to say that because... I've tried to tell my sister that twice, you know, in a text message about that. And, um, I don't, I, it's kind of hard. I'm trying to see why, uh, why she or anybody else, whatever, like, the way I see it, you know, because of the fact that, I mean, how many Christians are a Mason? Like, you know, go to the Mason Lodge, you know? I mean, seriously. So, it's just, it's all in, it's right in our face, you know? It really is. Um, and, and yeah, so when I was 19, I had already saw how crooked the system was, you know? So, um, and of course, everything I've gone through is uh, playing in on, like, you know, being worried or anything like that. But, um... And like it, it's all. It keeps being something like every week or every, uh, every other day or however it goes. Like I, it seems like I missed a call again, so I wasted gas, you know. And then I almost ran a light because of the truck in in front of me. And then there's a cop right there because I because of the light and the big old truck. And see, so when I was little, I was think, I thought when I was little, I thought that cops like had a button where they could change the lights. <laughs> but anyways, so I wanted to share those few things because if you understand. Uh, of course, yeah, I got to work on forgiveness, but at the same time, truth is truth. And, of course, I still see it the way I, I see it. And, you know, I met that lady, and I started thinking, yeah, I, I don't think that they taught us that in, you know, one criminal justice course I took. And even then, that was even odd having to go back or when I went back to school. But, yeah, I mean, my story is pretty big or whatever. Not big, but, you know, it's pretty long. A lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. And then uh, your curiosity, just for your curiosity, um... The one in particular is like a, it was like a friend of the family type thing. So just for you to understand, so you know, go, won't go off on your curiosity. It's just that he was like a friend of the family. So if anything, a uh, friend of the family there and then, um, you know, whatever else, you know. Anyways, and yeah, um, I'll probably say this, but I'll probably try my best not to return to this crap. And I'll, I'll do the angel story, and I'll move from there. But, um, yeah, it's not really fun when you go to jail with marks all over you. And, I mean, that they went to, but at the same time, it's like, you know, it kind of shows, well, when you really need help, maybe you shouldn't call them. Um, because I went there, too. Marks all over me. Um, uh, family wouldn't get me out. I had money right there at home to get me out, you know. They wouldn't get me out. Anyways, so... Just point that out. One time I did go, you know, and um, and then all the, a lot of the other times I got threatened to go. Uh, so, you know, it's like. So, anyways, like you, you know, if you're in any situation, how are you supposed to feel? You know, but I want to point those few things out and get on understanding. But all right, God bless you, all soon.